before we go into the uh, substantive uh, debate, I, mean, I do want to take this opportunity to put on record um, our gratitude uh, to our uh, Fire and Rescue Service. Um, there is no doubt that uh, the men and women who respond day in, day out, show enormous, enormous courage uh, and commitment. And I want to thank all of them uh, for keeping uh, the people of Surrey safe. We're very proud of our fire and rescue colleagues uh, who provide this vital service. It was quite clear from uh, having listened to a number of the speakers outside earlier before this meeting, the strength uh, of feeling and the passion uh, for the role that they perform. Uh, and we thank them indeed for that. The aim of the Surrey Fire and Rescue Service is, of course, to uh, save lives. Um, it's to protect property and to protect the environment. And I've no doubt that all residents share those same priorities. And I want to ensure that we have a service that does this most effectively. The report that we'll be discussing shortly uh, outlines in detail the proposals that have been worked up by our most senior firefighters uh, over the course of the last year or so. Uh, these plans have in part been driven by Her Majesty's Inspectorate uh, and the report that rated certain areas of the service as inadequate. Uh, but their findings and recommendations were already known and being worked on by the Chief Fire Officer Steve Owen Hughes and his team uh, uh, when, when, they, uh, when they had sight of that report. The intention of this uh, plan is to uh, modernise the service and to make it fit for purpose for the next 20 years, and reflecting all of the challenges and the demographic changes uh, that we see uh, throughout this county. Uh, to do that, I think everybody accepts that there needs to be a much greater focus on uh, prevention, as that's the most effective way to stop emergencies from happening in the first place. The report and the proposals contained within it is based upon a huge amount of data that's been collected uh, over a number of years, and indeed built on the knowledge and experience of, of uh, uh, the, uh, the, the, the officers uh, in the service and incorporates the latest technology uh, to ensure that the huge increase in prevention and protection work proposed doesn't adversely affect how efficiently the service operates. We're not cutting funding. Uh, indeed, uh, the savings that were originally proposed in uh, 1819 and 1920 have been withdrawn. And I would make that point clearly. There is no intention, there is no plan to cut uh, the funding. Uh, and indeed, we're not reducing the number of firefighters either uh, in the uh, county. In fact, we're proposing to invest an extra million pounds in capital, as well as step up the recruitment of extra firefighters, which is already well underway. And indeed, as Denise Turner-Stewart has said, and as she said to the chairman of uh, the select committee, we hope to have those or well, that recruitment completed by uh, April 2020. I entirely understand the concerns some residents have raised during the consultation. Uh, most of us uh, have uh, been contacted directly by a number of residents, by email, by text, uh, and through social media. Uh, but I would very much hope that they, like us, would place their confidence in uh, the experts in, in the fire service, which is, is Steve Owen Hughes uh, and those that have helped him uh, formulate this plan. And indeed, uh, the plan, uh, although uh, not endorsed as such by the inspectorate, has been seen uh, by the inspectorate. And it's, it, it's, and it's a plan that we believe, uh, based on the information that we have been given, will provide even greater protection uh, to our residents. Uh, and most importantly, that the, the prevention activities uh, will benefit significantly residents and businesses uh, wherever possible to prevent life-threatening incidents in the first place. So what we will do now, Denise Turner-Stewart will take us through the main uh, recommendations of the report uh, and then we will uh, see where we go from there. But I hope that the, the problem with all of these things is that uh, I would say this, there has been some misinformation, um, perhaps misinterpretation of uh, parts of this plan uh, which I think has uh, unnecessarily concerned residents. So I hope that during the course of uh, this conversation and uh, when, when residents have seen the plan or read the plan itself, uh, they'll be reassured that this is absolutely about protecting them uh, and uh, their property and environment.